I'm sorry. It was so good. Straight pig, y'all. You like the whole taco? Yeah. It fit in my mouth. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys, hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha, and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs this video up, share, comment, subscribe, and if you're new here, thank you for subscribing, welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby's gonna tell you what we're doing today. Whew, as you guys can see, today we are doing a delicious, scrumptious, Mexican street tacos mukbang. Yes. I cannot wait. Okay. With, with some chips too, y'all. Chips and salsa. Yes. And a bunch of tacos. Yes. It's, a go, it's going down. You ready? It's going down. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. All right. Then. Let's get into the video. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys. We are back. Ready to dig in. I'm ready to dig in. Whew, so, so let me. Go ahead. Look, go ahead. you always gotta say your stuff before I can eat a taco. <laughs> we wanna let them know we got we All have right. you guys. All right, so, y'all. We got some homemade salsa here from a little market that we love to go to. So that's that. We have a ton of chips. So we have El Pastor tacos, carne asada, and pollo. Yes. And then of course you gotta have the the onions and cilantro. Don't think we forgot that, y'all. Yeah. Okay. So we we got some drinks. What you got, babe? And I have horchata. Yes. I haven't had horchata in so long, you guys. I've loved this stuff since I was a kid. I have Haritos pineapple. Mmm. I've been calling that Doritos. <laughs> I'm trying this. As much as I see this, I've never tried it. It's good. Ooh. I like the um the carbonation. Have you ever had horchata? Mm-mm. Let me try it, babe. I don't think I'm gonna like it. I mean, this. I've had better. This doesn't look like it's good, but I've had better. Something. Oh, that is kind of good. Let me just taste this salsa real quick to make sure it's still as good as we remember it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That's a little spice to it. A little bit of Stephanie's is way better, y'all. Mm -hmm. But it's good. You want me to add um the onions and cilantro to everyone or you want to do it yourself? I want to uh, add it to everyone. Okay. Just don't put, some of them don't put a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. I love a lot of onions, y'all. Oh. oh, do you even like cilantro at all? A little bit. Oh, okay. I like it in salsa. <laughs> well, do you want it on here? Because I mean, I could just keep uh, have onions only. On my El Paso store, no. We got the um, tacos deconstructed because we went to our old neighborhood, so we wanted to make them ourselves once we got home. And I like this, the idea of getting them like that because number one, you get more food. Yeah. <laughs> on accident. And then they're just super fresh when you're ready to eat them. So I might be doing that more often, y'all. This taco truck we go to has like the best meat to me, you guys. Like, you generally you, you might find a place that has good uh, carne asada, but then the chicken is not flavorful. Their chicken is so good uh -huh. that when I'm not eating beef, I don't even miss the fact that I can't have carne asada. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited y'all. This is one of my favorite meals. Like I really love tacos period, but yeah. the street tacos, I can eat these almost every day. Seriously. Y'all, step No joke. She's not playing. Right. Let me try one of these carne asada. Anytime she don't feel like cooking, tacos. She's like, oh, <laughs> I'm going to eat some tacos. Yep. But we got to find a new taco truck over here no. because the taco truck that she knows of that she loves is where we used to live, so All right. too far. Mm. Mm. I didn't even know I liked El Pastor until like a year ago, me and my friend, we were going out. She was like, let's go to the taco truck, and I was like, okay, let's go. And she ordered a few El Pastor, and I was like, I don't know. I tasted it, and I fell in love. I think I ate like 25 tacos that night. <laughs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's nice and spicy. 
Mm. Now y'all know I normally do way more talking than this. <laughs> Sorry. Not when it comes to uh, tacos. Mm. Oh my god, so good. Now if you guys have a, a good recipe, I know we have some people out there that probably make authentic carne asada. Please leave me a recipe. I've tried it before and just I just did not like it how it turned out at home. Mm. I really don't know what my favorite is from this place. Mm. Can I have one of your alpha sorbets? Yeah, I'm about to move on to the carne asada. Thank you. Yeah, I wanna um I made some carne asada tacos maybe about a month ago. Stephanie said they weren't carne asada tacos. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> my son they, liked them. They were good, but they just weren't carne asada. So, they were good steak tacos. Steak tacos, mm -hmm. yeah. I got some, um, some carne, some Laurie's carne asada um, seasoning from the store. Yeah, Stephanie was like, no, baby, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not carne asada, honey. <laughs> I tried it. So you guys, let us know what is your favorite to get from like taco trucks or from the street carts. Um, Cause honestly, I love the tacos so much that I never try other things. <clears throat> but Tasha got like a Samita, I believe it was called one day. Loved it. Oh my God. We just didn't want to get it now because we drove kind of far. My goodness. We didn't want it to be all soggy. Mm. I have tried sopes, which are bomb too. I never tried it. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. <laughs> I haven't had these in months. Mm. You haven't? Mm mm. Whereas yeah, when we lived over there, I had it oh, yeah. twice a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know those days you and your girlfriend or boyfriend are like, I don't know what I want to eat today. I don't know. Stephanie was just like, goodbye. And she would go get her some tacos. Mm -hmm. and I'll figure it out, honey. Yeah. I'm like, let me know when you right. you're ready to go somewhere for yourself. I'm going to get tacos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stephanie's in heaven right now. I'm, I really am. I'm going to try the chicken. The chicken is so long. I don't think I ever get chicken. So now. And then that lime squeeze on it. Woo! Yeah. Can't you just can't beat it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, you found one with one shell? That was one bite. I like the one shell ones. Cause you just get mostly meat. Mm. Let me tell y'all. I love real tortilla shells. Bite. I don't, I don't eat Tostitos because I can't always find real homemade tortilla shells, but when I do Tortilla them, chips is what she's on. Chips, y'all. <laughs> chips. You know, that's, yeah, what's what? I like them. Well, they're made from shells. I know, but they probably think you're talking about these. Oh, uh, uh-huh. I love the chips, y'all. That chicken is good. It was very flavorful. Mm. Um, they must marinate it for a long time. Good vibes, y'all. I wonder how it tastes with like all the, all the meat combined. I know. I'm about to put chicken and steak in mine in one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll put the right amount of lime on it. Sometimes you gotta do red and green sauce. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. like that red one though. Mm hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so good. Straight pig, y'all. You ate the whole taco? Yeah. It fit in my mouth. I'm sorry. That's so good. Y'all need to go to this truck. Well, if you live in LA, it's on business near Jasmine. Right in front of the Smart Fun. So there are two trucks that are, that are there. One comes in the daytime and one at night. It's the daytime truck, y'all. Don't go to that nighttime truck, okay? First of all, they got a B. So, yeah, nah. 
I don't mess with her. All right, we're gonna get into our topic, y'all. I think we decided in 2014 that we were gonna take a trip the next year. Mm -hmm. And we were deciding on a whole bunch of different places, but we, number one, both are both afraid of planes. So it couldn't have been too far. That we, we, were, we were trying to go as far as we could. But as close as possible. Right. <laughs> so we ended up deciding on Mexico. Yes. Playa del Carmen. Yes. Tasha set up everything. Okay. Now I was worried because I'm, I'm the planner and I'm obsessive about my plans. Yeah. So I was like, she, she found a hotel. I was like, God. you know, she had to research the whole time. going to be seven days. Exactly she, what I want. Yeah. <laughs> the place was called Paradisus La Perla. The brand is Melia. Right. I think. Yes, yeah, so that was the hotel name, but Tasha got like a special service, it's called Royal Service. Yes. So you get that, they just like cater to you night and day. Oh my okay. god, y'all. Night before, I think you were just now packing, I had all my shit packed already. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we started, I think we both started kind of getting nervous about this flight, y'all. And we took like a real late night flight, didn't we? It was like midnight. Okay. Because we wanted to get there during the day. Right. So we got there bright and early. Yeah. The flight there, I was pretty calm. What about you, babe? The flight there, I was scared as hell. We flew into Cancun, but we were staying in Playa del Carmen, so we ended up renting a car and drove for about an hour. Yeah. From Cancun to Playa del Carmen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tasha drove. The GPS was in Spanish. <laughs> Neither one of us speaks Spanish. <laughs> Just saying. I can't lie, it was a little scary, guys. But eventually we, we made it. We made it to the hotel. Thank God, because uh, the car was not like a new rental. It already had like dents and scratches, and I didn't, you know, y'all know I'm frugal, right? But I got a nice hotel, very nice hotel. I didn't think so much about the rental car. I was like, let me get the cheapest car. This car was so small. Ooh. I don't know what it was. It could only fit us and our luggage. Like it was that right. small. It was yeah. so tiny. I was like, oh my God, because I'm used to driving a truck, and yeah. I get claustrophobic in small cars. But I was like, I'm going to ride with it. Don't trip. I don't know if that car was a stick or what. I never drove stick. It was like an in-between stick and automatic. I don't know what the hell it was, y'all. But yeah, it was, it was a mess. So anyway, we made it to the hotel. And I'll tell you, as soon as we walked in, they greeted us with two glasses of champagne. It was two nice cold glasses of champagne. The champagne was good. Mm -hmm. They were very nice, very polite, so welcoming. It was fucking awesome. It was really awesome. I was like, wow. They showed us the whole hotel, like a little lounge area, just all the drinks for free. So they had Hennessy, vodka. Mm -hmm. They had everything, basically. And that's when we were introduced. Well, I was introduced to Shibas. Wait, also in the lobby, it was they always had like snacks. Oh, like treats and snacks. And they were good. Yes. I mean, like hot snacks, you guys. Mm -hmm. Not like chips. No, they had cooked real stuff. Hors d'oeuvres. Pretty. Was, yes. Just really Man. good. They asked what we wanted to drink. Yeah. What do we like to drink? Mm -hmm. I don't need, I know we didn't say cheapest. No, we saw it. Oh, okay. we saw it. I think that might have reminded you of. Uh, okay. We left and came back. We left and came back with a bottle of cheetahs. In a whole know. bottle, y'all. A whole bottle. Waiting on us. <laughs> we was like, turn up. Right. So we drank it. I mean, <laughs> what else could you do? <laughs> so every time we left our room and came back, it was something new. Something. Something new. It was so nice. So that first day, we just roamed around. Yeah, checked out the resort, looked at everybody, looked at the, you know, the food, of course, we went to the buffets to see how the food was looking. Right. And it was probably like five or six different restaurants within the resort that yeah. had different types of food. Mm -hmm. And they had clubs in there. Mm -hmm. They had an adult pool and then a pool for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know, it was just so big. Yeah, it was It was nice. The beach was, it was right on the beach. Right, you walked so, yeah. out of your room. We walked out of the hotel. And then we go to the right, about maybe 15 feet, and there was the beach. The beach right there. Yeah, the beach. Okay, the whole entire beautiful <sighs> beach. God, I miss Mexico. Me too. We haven't even started to tell about the uh, the trip, really. No. <laughs> we just, okay. Okay. So let's just we gonna have to go faster, y'all, because we did a lot. All right. So the next day, so we stayed for five days. Yeah. So we talking about day two? Day two. Day two. You know Stephanie loves dolphins, that's her favorite animal. She wants a dolphin. So we did a dolphin um, exhibit. I don't know what it's Excursion. called, I don't care. Excursion, whatever the case is. But we got in the water with the dolphins, we swam with the dolphins, got to hug them, kiss them, pet them, or do all kind of stuff with them, flip with them. All the time, so we got to do all the stuff with the dolphins that Stephanie wanted to do. Yeah. I was scared, but I did it because she wanted to. 
And so it was done. That was so awesome, y'all. Y'all don't know how long I've been wanting to, like, be swimming with dolphins. Mm -hmm. Tasha finally did it for me. Thank you, babe. So day three, we went to Akumal. If you guys are familiar with that, cool, because I'm not. But we got on, we got in the rental car that we were definitely afraid to get in and drove another hour further away from where we were to a place called Akumal where we went snorkeling. We saw huge turtles, like the size of, I don't know what's the size of, uh, I don't know, but we saw giant turtles, sea turtles, a fish that looked like Dory, but it was huge. Um, oh, we went jet skiing. We went jet skiing, you guys. I fell off. That snorkeling, snorkeling trip. Now, I had to beg Tasha to go. Beg but me. Then once I got in the water, I was scared as hell, y'all. Because, like, really? yeah, I've never been oh, snorkeling yeah. before, but the water kept filling up into my mask. And I was just like panicking. Mm -hmm. So I was almost like, oh, just forget this. Mm -hmm. Tasha was out there. I'm like, but I thought you were supposed to be scared. Wait, y'all, I was scared out of my mind, but I was already there. So I'm like, the shark behind me, he gonna eat me, he gonna eat me. Yeah. You know, it's too late. I'm already in the middle of the ocean. It's really a scary thing when you think about it. Like in the moment, I was like all in. But thinking about it, I was like, that was a crazy thing. We swam really far out and then just dove. Yeah. With nothing, it's not like we had a boat there to like jump right. on if something happened. We would have had to swim back and hopefully not, hopefully not get bitten if yeah. like a shark came. Yeah, but that was really adventurous. And not only that, I was I thinking of we could have got bit by a sea turtle too. They yeah. might. He could have bit our leg. You know, a big gash in our leg. But wasn't it amazing? Yeah, it was amazing. I would. I don't think I would ever do it again. <laughs> but it was amazing. I loved it. So then after that. I think, um, what, we went, um, the jet ski. We went jet ski that same day? Yes. So I think I had to beg you for that one too. She had to beg the shit out of me, y'all, because a jet ski? Right. So yeah, neither one of us know how to drive it. Neither, neither one of us ever drove the jet ski. Why was I the driver? <laughs> Why was I the driver on a jet ski in the ocean that I'm scared to be in? And first of all, it's the Caribbean Ocean or the Caribbean Sea, whatever you want to call it, where the most dangerous sharks, bull sharks are. Yeah, I didn't know that until after the trip. <laughs> Okay, so she's driving now. I didn't know that driving a jet ski, you really had to, you need to have some skill with it. Yes. It's not easy to drive. No. And you know, when you want, you see them going fast. You can't do that on your first trip, please. No. Because you, you, you don't feel like, you don't feel secure. It's like you have to know, I think you have to know how to like move your body with the jet ski right. so it can dip. You got to get in the water. Yeah. I think it'd be best to drive that with someone who's already did it. Yeah. Okay. So we both amateurs at this. Okay. Yeah. I was uncomfortable the entire time. I was just trying to take the lead because I was in the front right. and I was trying to give my wife a nice ride. <laughs> so she was my girlfriend at the time. I'm like, I, I think I wanted to go back to master, but I was scared. Mm -hmm. So I was okay with whatever speed you were going at. Yeah. I'm not sure how, how the next step happened. Um, I was basically riding it and feeling uncomfortable the entire time. Like, what the hell? Every time I tried to go a little bit faster, it just wasn't working. I'm like, this is just not, it just wasn't comfortable. It was like in the car when you're going like this, it just, mm -hmm. it wasn't it. So I do think, you're right, I do, I did feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I started to say, okay, I'm going faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Mistake. <laughs> Why? Because, uh... I started to feel the jet ski going to the right, and I started to feel my legs sliding off the jet ski right so uh i flew off the jet ski y'all so so i was in the water man okay so the the thing starts leaning i'm like oh my god tasha falls on the boat i'm i'm using my body weight so serious i was like i cannot fall in this water i'm gonna freak out so i was just like pushing the thing back this way i was like Ugh. and made it say i say no y'all who tasha in the water out and not then i moved into the front i was like get on baby come on oh okay so I hopped out of that water faster than I've ever done anything in my entire life. I felt like I just flew on the jet. Like, I literally mm -hmm. fell in the water and oh my, flew I didn't go back. back on the jet. Oh, I got on there so fast because I, oh, the first thing I thought, it was adrenaline. Adrenaline really shot me out the water like I was a bullet. Because I thought that I was about to get my ass eaten. I was like, hell no, this is where the sharks are. Oh, yeah, you really did come That was worse than the scuba diving, and I don't even know why. But I was yeah. scared. Because when you fall off of something, you automatically, I just saw Jaws. I was that like, was really hell scared so. here. So once that happened, we headed on back, y'all. We headed, on, we headed back. on back. And Stephanie drove, right? I, wasn't I was terrified driving, but it was still fun. Yeah. So anyway, that was probably the end of that night. We are leaving out a lot of stuff, you guys. Like, we would go to, um, like, restaurants. Yeah, of course we were restaurants. eating. You yeah. know, we go to different restaurants in the resort, hang around the town. <sighs> Man, yeah, it was a lot. We went to the club at the resort. 
on day three night, y'all. Now we were just like, before we head in for the night, let's go see what these, you know, yeah. let's go see the club. Yeah. Let's maybe go have a drink at the bar or whatever and head back. Now remember, this is a it's a tourist spot, so there are people from different countries here. Everybody from different countries. This is the most fun we've ever had at the club. Okay. Yeah. Everybody there was happy, fun, wanted to just enjoy. Turn up. Like it was so fun. Yeah. That it was amazing. Yeah. Like everybody was just all around in a big circle, mm -hmm. having fun, doing mm -hmm. stuff, touching each other. Mm -hmm. Not like that, but everybody was dancing. Yeah. It was it was, it was so wonderful. Yeah. There was an older couple, a uh, woman and a man, and the guy would do every dance move I did, and the woman would do everything Stephanie did. So it was like us four was on the dance floor, and people were watching us. It was so crazy. I mean, we were doing, I remember somebody doing a handstand. I mean, it was crazy. It was probably him. Yeah. It was really crazy. Yeah. Okay, so that was really really fun. The next day. Everybody on the resort is like, hey, y'all, yeah. those are my girls. Like, Tasha didn't even know. I, was like, I didn't even I was remember. like, we were twerking with them last night. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't remember. I, I, I had a lot of shiva <laughs> Right. The next day, we decided to do some touristy stuff. So we went to go visit the ruins in Tulum mm -hmm. and like um, shop, do some shopping and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that was really fun and interesting. We love like his historical stuff. We learned about Aztecs and yeah. the culture of the Mayans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then tell them about the um oh, and there were huge iguana everywhere. You guys just running around crazy. Stephanie was scared. I was like, oh my god! It was fun to me. It was fun to me too, but still scared. Yeah, because I'm scared of animals. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not as like. Oh, but you know what? There were there were iguanas at our hotel. Remember? Yeah, there were iguanas a lot. Yeah, they were everywhere. Places. Yeah, and they didn't bother you at all. Yeah, but they were they were beautiful, and it was just interesting to like live with them freely like that you yeah. know because we yeah. don't have animals like that around here at least not ones that sit there and like are comfortable with you you yeah. know i think we took a picture <laughs> yeah we did we had a room where there was a jacuzzi guys but it was outside yeah. okay the jacuzzi was right outside of uh on, patio. On, on the patio yes so that shit was bomb it was a private yeah jacuzzi outside though yeah that shit was really really nice it so when nice. we came back like she said we had Champagne, strawberries, and they put our robes and shoes up there as if to say, you are doing this. Yeah, this, this is going to be a part of what you guys so right. we, we Hey, can't. let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so later that day, I think it was the day that we went to the beach. We finally went to the beach and we got in the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, so oh, warm. Stephanie didn't want to get out. I, I never remember really wanted to get out. The water, first of all, was clear, warm, warm yeah. beach water, you guys. Yeah. I was like, this is beautiful. You can't have anything better than warm beach water. <laughs> There's nothing better than that. Nothing. Not even milk. <laughs> I'm telling you. So day five, what we did, we went to, we went driving around Mexico. We ended up going to a nice little Mexican restaurant mm -hmm. and we ate there. Okay, so when, when we get back from the hotel from eating lunch, you guys, um, we were going to go swimming, but we ended up, it started sprinkling. Yeah. So we were like, let's just go back to the room mall. This is going to be a kind of a dull last day, but whatever. So we go back to the room and probably within 10 minutes of us being in the room, what storm. Happened? I mean, it was raining so hard. I was like, okay, so it's gonna be a hurricane. Okay, cool. And so we were thinking, damn, we're gonna be stuck in Mexico for another yeah. week. But we were kind of happy. I love the storm. Yeah, I did too. We had a big glass window and we could just see it coming down, coming down. And don't forget, we had the outdoor jacuzzi that had a cover. Yeah. So we went outside. Yeah. And chilled. As it was storming. in the storm, yeah, not getting wet at all. In the jacuzzi, though, yeah, that was nice, y'all. It was wonderful. Now I never had a jacuzzi bath in a storm before. Right. I wouldn't mind doing it again. Woo, y'all! If you haven't been to Mexico, if you haven't been to Playa del Carmen, if you want a non-party type scene, not too party type scene like Cancun, right? Like, go to Playa del Carmen. Really relax. That's the where you go with your partner mm -hmm. and have a good time. Well, let me tell you about the. The area is good. It's good for partying because mm -hmm. that hotel we had a great That's time true. party. Yeah. But it's not a party city. Mm -hmm. But then it's also good for the beach. It's good for um, historical sites. It's good for adventurous stuff. Yeah. I mean, it is just yeah. They have a, a lot of caves. Place. I think at Tulum they had a lot of caves. We just didn't go. But a lot of I'm scared stuff. of caves, y'all. I want to go back to do uh, a lot of the adventurous things that they had to do. Yeah, me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep and dream about it. I was so sad that we had to leave because it was so much left that I wanted to do. Anyway, thank you um, for this wonderful food. And thank you for the experience that we had. And we're thanking Mexico itself. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Mexico. <laughs> uh, you we welcome, love it. you welcome over here with us, Mexico. We love her. Okay. Huh.
All right, so I guess we're done. We're done, you guys, we're full. I'm trying to eat some more chips. These are so good. If y'all haven't had real tortilla chips, I'm not talking about Tostitos, get some of these. <laughs> these are real tortilla chips. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys think. Let us know what your favorite tacos are. Let us know what you want to see us eat next. And until then, only good vibes. Peace.